Hello and welcome to the review portion of the Atari 2600 flashback. And here's the system. Now, first of all, you gotta give props for uh, them to them for at least making this thing look so awesome. Now, I've had a few plug and plays in my day, and let me tell you, the Commodore 64 plug and play looked nothing like the Commodore 64. But that's just a small plus. This thing has a lot of great features and some pretty good flaws, I guess you could call it. Um, first on the flaw list is these buttons. Now, they're responsive and they work like they're supposed to. The problem is there's missing ones. Like, I don't know, understand why they couldn't put a game reset. Uh, I guess they did keep the select there, but stuff like that is it's just not doesn't have all the buttons and you know other than that like to the controller part I guess these controllers are awesome in the same light as they're horrible now the reason they're good and bad is they are really responsive as you can probably see from that motion I'm getting from this thing the original joystick barely did this but that being said most of us have played Atari's for well over 10 years if you're like me I've been playing it since I was two two or three I think it was the first technical console I ever played I don't really remember it but there's little pictures of me when I was little playing it so I guess it must have happened and uh, it's it takes some getting used to I still haven't completely gotten used to it yet so and also I'm not sure if this works with paddle controllers but I'm guessing it does because it works with the Sega Genesis controllers so I don't know why it wouldn't but now onto the games. While this thing has a lot of great games, there are some missing ones. For instance, Space Invaders. It, it I don't know why it's not on here. It just it kind of baffles me. And there's also games on here that are just completely not needed. For instance, the Sword Quest games. Now, if you know anything about the Sword Quest games, you know that in order to play them, you really needed the manual, and that would have been awesome. Like, I was happy to see these on here because I was like, okay, they're not going to leave out the manuals because you can't play them without the manuals. No digital manuals or nothing on here. So if you want to play the Sword Quest games, you got to either have the original manual or you got to pull it up online, which is something you shouldn't have to do with the 2600 game. And, uh, but there are some great games on here. It has the first adventure game along with the second one which to be honest I did not know they had a second adventure game it's got asteroids gravitar uh, outlaw possibly one of my favorite ones and it's also got a lot of sports games on here which it it's a plus for me but it might not be for some people like I don't like newer sports games but ones for like the Intellivision and the 2600 I absolutely loved and you know it has all the real sport ones, I think, and a few other ones. And, um, yeah, this thing is just awesome. I mean, the pros highly outweigh the cons. Another small con is the paddle games. It comes with a few paddle games on it. And they've programmed this thing to where they work on this thing. And, um, I'm not, I'm not bragging. But there's two kinds of games I'm good at, or genres, I guess. And that's arcade games and role-playing games. And Circus Atari kicked my ass every freaking time. Like, I could barely get him back on that little thing to shoot him back up and pop the balloons. It was almost impossible. And, um, another game I was disappointed not being on here, um, not 100% shocked, but kind of disappointed, was Warlords. You know, that's, that was just one of my favorite games of all time and luckily my other plug and Atari plug and play has the arcade version of it which is really cool but that's probably the only good thing I can say about that thing all in all if you're thinking about get this I say get it you can usually find the flashback 3 for 30 and under um, I did pay 30 for this because I went to Walmart and I, you know I just been debating on it on a, for a long time and just finally decided to get it and it's a definite space saver. You know, I no longer have to lug, for the most part, like if I want to play some games, I will, but for the most part, I no longer have to lug, uh, lug 
some of my, either of my Ataris out to the living room and not the massive game collection I have for the 2600. So definitely, if you see this for a decent price, definitely pick it up. If I was doing a star system, I'd rate this 7.5 out of 10. And, uh, but since I don't do that, I'm just going to call it awesome. So if you can find one of these, definitely pick them up. Anyways, I want to say thanks for watching my very first review, I do believe. Um, I wish I could add gameplay, but my webcam almost refuses to pick up gameplay. As I can see, I got my TV on back there and you can't see shit. And this thing does not pick up video very well either. So I'm going to try to get that fixed and we'll see what we can do from there. But until then, stay safe and stay gaming.